President, uh, distinguished colleagues, this is a report of the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Ted Fund on a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the Federal University of Technology, Yaba, and for other matters connected therewith, SB 85. I read, the Senate at its plenary on Thursday, 10th of October 2019, debated on the general principles of the bill for the upgrade of Yaba College of Technology to a full-fledged Federal University of Technology, Yaba, to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration, which was sponsored by Senator Solomon Olameleka Ajola. After ex extensive deliberations, the bill was read for the second time and referred to the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Ted Fund for further legislative action. Be it Senate order of referral dated Thursday 3rd December 2020 and to report back with its recommendations. Mr. President, allow me to go straight to the summary and the recommendations mentioned. On page three, we have the summary, legislative summary. Mr. President, distinguished uh, colleagues, at this juncture, I wish to inform you that the committee has critically scrutinized the provisions of the bill vis-a-vis -vis presentations made by stakeholders and strongly believe that the bill is of tremendous benefits for technological advancement of the nation in so many different ways, such as providing employment opportunities for the host communities and other qualified Nigerians, as well as provide enabling environments for graduates from the envisaged upgrade Federal University of Technology, Yaba, to compete favorably with their counterparts from around the world. The committee also carried out adjustments on the bill ranging from amendments of clauses, editorial corrections, identification of pitfalls, lacunas, and breached same to conform to best standard in legislation. The committee advised lecturers of Yaba College of Technology to go for further degree as precursor of, uh, to the envisaged upgrade with a view to overcoming challenges of displacement during regularization exercise as the college upgrade to a full-fledged university, Federal University of Technology, Yaba. Now, um, I beg your permission, Mr. President, to go to the recommendations. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Ted Fund, to which this bill was referred, having carefully considered same, hereby recommends as follow. One, that the Senate do consider and pass the bill for the upgrade of Yaba College of Technology to a full-fledged Federal University of Technology, Yaba, to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration bill 2021 as recommended. And in conclusion, I wish on behalf of the committee to use this opportunity to thank Mr. President, 
and distinguished colleagues for the opportunity to serve in this capacity, that is the chairman, and to humbly request the Senate to pass this bill. I so move, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise again to move the motion on behalf of the chairman of the committee, Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions, that the report of the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund on a bill for an act to produce for the establishment of the Federal University building KB, KB State to ensure equity and access to tertiary education in the country. The university is a conventional university with restricted programs, limited and focused faculties and for other matters connected therewith. I so move, Mr. President. Senator Kroenjian. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Senator Akonayani, representing Akwebon South Senatorial District. I rise to second the motion ably moved by my sister that the report of the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institution and Third Fund on bill for an act to produce the establishment of the Federal University, Perrin Kedi, be accepted to be made. I so second. Thank you very much. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the Senate do receive and consider the report of our Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund say aye. Those again say nay, the aye side. You let the report, please. Mr. President. The Senate, that report of the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund on a bill for an act to produce for the establishment of the Federal University building KB, KB State to ensure equity and access to tertiary education in the country. The university is a conventional university with restricted program, limited and focused faculties and for other matters connected therewith. I read, the Senate at its plenary on Wednesday 5th February 2020 debated on the general principles of the bill for the establishment of the Federal University Birning KB, KB State to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration, which was sponsored by Senator Mohammed Adamu Alero. After extensive deliberations, the bill was read for the second time and referred to the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund for further legislative action. Read Senate Order of Referral dated Thursday, 20th February 2020, and to report back with its recommendations. Uh, Mr. President, again, I will just go to the recommendations. Uh, first of all, I will want to read the legislative summary and then the recommendations. Legislative summary, page three. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, at this juncture, I wish to inform you that the committee has critically scrutinized the provisions of the bill vis-a-vis -vis presentations made by stakeholders we are harmonized to enable smooth passage of this bill. Also, the committee found the bill worthy and therefore it has strong belief that it is of immense benefits to the general public. Accordingly, the committee has also carried out partial amendments on the bill, which ranges from adjustment of clauses, provisions of new insertions were made to calibrate 
the contents of the bill to context and relative equilibrium with a view to balancing it. Similarly, it has made redraft and editorial corrections, identified pitfalls, lacunas, and bridged same to conform to the best normative cultural standard in legislation. I think, Mr. President, it may interest us to know the findings and observations. From the views expressed by the stakeholders at the public hearing and subsequent analysis of both oral and written presentations of memoranda, the committee hereby makes the following observations and findings. One, the stakeholders who made both written and oral submissions at the public hearing unanimously subscribed to the content of the draft bill and rendered their overwhelming social solidarity in support of the passage of the bill by the National Assembly. Two, the establishment of the Federal University Building KB will no doubt provide the required manpower that Nigeria needs in the areas of geosciences and technology and general agricultural practices as a boost for the exploration of solid minerals, scientific and social knowledge in promotion of cutting edge research in Nigeria and beyond. Three, the knowledge and skills that would be acquired by the graduates from the Envisage Act of the National Assembly will definitely go a long way in expanding and deepening the horizon of the students in geosciences, exploration of solid minerals, and general agricultural practices, thereby contributing to the nation's GDP and increase revenue base of Nigeria and consequentially contributing to national integration and social progress of the multicultural young people of this country. Hence, the need for the Senate to consider and approve this legislative proposal for the benefit of humanity in general and Nigeria as a nation in particular. Recommendations. Mr. President, the recommendations here state that the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and State Fund to which this bill was referred, having carefully considered same hereby, recommends as follow, that the Senate do consider and pass the bill for the establishment of the Federal University Building KB, KB State to ensure equity and access to tertiary education as conventionally university with restricted programs, limited and focused faculties, and for other matters connected there with Bill 2021 as recommended. In conclusion, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I, that is the chairman of this committee, wish to use this opportunity to thank the President of the Senate and distinguished colleagues for the opportunity to serve in this capacity and to humbly request the Senate to pass this bill. I so move. Thank you, Mr. President. Any comments or observations? Leader of the Senate, Committee of the Whole. Mr. President, I highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I rise to move a motion for the Senate to resolve in the Committee of the Whole to consider these two reports. I so move. Minority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. I so second. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the Senate is addressing to the Committee of the Hall to consider the reports close by close say aye. Those against any other eyes have A bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the Federal University of Technology, Yaba, and for other matters connected there with 2021, third reading, and the bill is passed. Congratulations. Also, a bill for an act to establish the Federal University Burning KB, KB State to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration and for other related matters, 2021, third reading taken, and the bill is also passed. Congratulations. Leader of the Senate. 